now I've done my favourite films of the year, now my bottom five, wait, ah, bottom three films of the year, since, unless last year I saw four films which I didn't like, now, now it's three films. Number three, Jupiter Ascending. When this film got shot at Ely, which is, I live in Ely, which is like a five minute drive from here, I was like, I definitely need to see that film, no questions asked. Yeah, same thing with Big, Big Beth, which I forgot to mention, which is a also shot at Ely. Which, uh, when I saw the film, I, was, I felt like, like, why? Although directed by Wachowski, he's directed of Matrix, which is my all, one of my all-time favourites. Yeah, I think it's better than Revolu Matrix Revolutions or Speed Racer, but not it's as proud and glamorous as Cloud Atlas. Yeah, I think the characters are not humps and convincing. The acting of Eddie Redmayne particularly is over the top. At least he made it up for it for the Danish girl. Also, the movie is pretty much a guilty pleasure for me. Not a terrible movie at best, but a guilty pleasure for me. Number two, Tomorrowland. A disappointment from a from my, from my great director, Brad Bird, who directed Incredibles, Ratatouille, Iron Giant, and Mission Impossible Ghost Patrol. Like, what on earth happened? What on earth happened? I feel like they pretty much, he traded... Uh, his seriousness with uh, being as preachy as possible. The characters are not well developed and the, uh, pl the plotting is not really that, that memorable and it pretty much uh, preaches out a moral of do not feed the bad wolf. They uh, pretty much repeat it every 20 minutes or repeat it whenever it can. It's pretty much a disappointment if I saw one. I feel like it's one of those films that like to fall flat on its face. I feel like why? Uh, over a movie, if you're a, if you're someone that uh, really loves Brad Bird like I do, you're going to be really disappointed with this film. Yeah, unless you're, you can check it out, uh, it won't harm, but you'll be pretty much disappointed. The worst film of the year of 2015 is, this will stir up some controversy since let me, I'll tell you this, I have not seen Fifty Shades of Grey, Fantastic Four or Pixels. It's none of these three films. The worst film of the year I find pretty much like, no, why, why? It's of course Terminator Genesis. Pretty much the movie never wants to take risks, the plot is just confusing and the characters are pretty much annoying, barely help or just stand there or do nothing. Yeah, pretty much everyone knew this film was going to be doomed the day the trailer came along, which shows the only, which gave away, I kid you not, the only good part of the film, where it's found out that Jason Connor, or I mean John Connor, I mean John, ha, <laughs> oh, sorry, not good at memory names. Uh, uh, John Connor, who turns out to be a Terminator, and pretty much goes out to hunt Terminator. It pretty much ignores everything that happened in Terminator and Judgment Day. It's... You, if you like this film, you better see the first two films. I feel like, what's the point if you're liking this film and you haven't seen the first two films? If you want to do about Rise Machines and Salvation, I don't care about these films. I haven't saw it, I don't care. Terminator Genesis. The number one worst from the year. I haven't seen, like, okay, I'll make it clear to you again. I haven't seen Fifty Shades of Grey, Fantastic Four, or Pixels. I will review them when I can. I haven't seen them yet, but I will review them when I see it. Also, what are your worst films of the year? Just let me know, let me know in the comments below. Bye.